Hey, what's up everyone? This is Miracle MS at your service, presenting you all a new episode of Captain Spaza Rise of New Champions. After witnessing an argument about Morizaki being worse than Dual Man and even Amoros, I thought this is a great time for me to fully discover how the goalkeepers work. What I wasn't expecting was the dark and sinister truth that everything we ever thought we knew about the goalkeepers was a lie. This video is not for people with a weak heart. With that said, let's start. First, I want to talk about the extra cost the goalkeepers have. Turns out goalkeepers have an extra move slot specifically for saving animations, and each of these saving animations has a cost of their own. Here's how it works for everyone. Morizaki's save animation has 35 costs, Wakashimazu's has 46 costs, Wakabayashi's has 148 costs, Mueller's has 184 costs, Hernandez's has 131 costs, Keizinho's has 133 costs, Oswan's has 138 costs, Espadas's has 57 costs, Nakanishi's has 40 costs, and the rest of the goalkeepers who have a normal save animation like Dolman have 40 costs. Now, while higher cost doesn't mean better saving animation, it does give a general sense of understanding how strong each goalkeeper is supposed to be. There is also one more factor for the goalkeepers, but it doesn't have a cost, and that is the miracle goal chance. Every goalkeeper has his own unique resistance to miracle goals. It has nothing to do with saving animations. As for the stats, defense is the only stat that increases a goalkeeper's resistance to miracle goals. Speaking of stats, defense and power are the only stats that can help a goalkeeper. They increase the power of the goalkeeper's saving animation, while defense alone increases their resistance towards miracle goals. And that means that speed and technique mean nothing for a goalkeeper, which means Mueller's Technican is just a waste of cost. And I know what you're gonna say right now. There's definitely a reason for them to give Mueller that skill. Well, here's my answer. Dolman has multi-role. Dolman has a skill cancelling the nerf of spirit recovery rate when you're out of position. Dolman is a goalkeeper. He doesn't even have a spirit recovery rate. So yes, they do put useless skills for goalkeepers. Top 10 anime betrayals, number 1 Morizaki. This stupid clown has the worst save animation in the entire game. Not only is it the weakest, it's the only save animation where stats don't affect it. This means that Slow Starter, one of the best skills in the game, has no effect on Morizaki's saving ability. It won't get any stronger no matter what stats you have. Wakashimasu is the same, but only the aerial side save. The rest of his saving animations do get stronger with stats. As I said, each saving animation has its own cost and its own power. And the better the save animation is, the more boost it gets from the defense and power increasing skills. Since Morizaki betrayed us, I won't count him in the list. Just remember that all of his saving animations are the worst. So we'll start off with center ground saves. The best center ground save defense belongs to Keizinho. The second best is shared between Genzo, Hernandez and Osvan. The save power for these four is extraordinary. The rest of the saves are sorted like this. Third place is Mueller, fourth place is Dolman and the other dummy players. Fifth place is Wakashimazu, sixth place is Espadas and seventh place is Nakanishi. The reason why Wakashimazu performs better than most other dummy goalkeepers is because his stats are high, not because his save animation is better. Now for side ground saves. The best side ground save belongs to Wakabayashi. The second best save is shared between Mueller, Hernandez, Keizinho and Osvan. The rest of the saves are sorted like this. Third place is Espadas, fourth place is Dolman, and the other dummy players, fifth place is Nakanishi, and sixth place is Wakashimazu. Now for middle air saves. The best middle air save belongs to Wakabayashi. The second place is shared between Mueller and Osvan. 
The third place is for Hernandez and fourth place goes to KZ. These five are the only good ones when it comes to middle air saves. The rest of the saves are sorted like this. Fifth place is Espada, sixth place is Nakanishi and seventh place is Dolman and the rest of dummy players and the eighth place is Wakashimazu. Again, Wakashimazu has higher stats which make up for his weaker animation. Last but not least, the side air saves. The best side air save belongs to Osvan. The second place is for Genzo, third place is shared between Mueller, Kei, Zinho, and Nakanishi, while fourth place is for Hernandez. These six are the good ones when it comes to side air saves. The rest of the saves are sorted like this. Fifth place is Espada, sixth place is Dolman and the rest of the dummy players, and seventh place is Wakashimazu. Overall, you can see that Genzo is the best option for a goalkeeper, which everyone already knew that. But now you know the place of other goalkeepers as well. The biggest lie I have ever seen in this game are the 10 cost exclusive skills for the goalkeepers. I'm talking about SGGK, Steel Giant and others like that when they say shoots become easier to stop. These skills don't increase the save power one bit. Yes, these things don't make your goalkeeper any stronger. What they do is increase their chance of stopping a shoot, and not just any shoot, only shoots that have the power to one-shot them or a shoot that is aimed at their weak spot. I'll get into the weak spot part in a bit. And no, it doesn't help them stop miracle shoots. Only power shoots that can one-shot them. Why is this any different from increasing the safe power of the goalkeeper? Because the damage they take from a shoot will remain the same. And if you score by taking down the spirit of a goalkeeper, which is what happens most of the time, the chance of scoring will be 100%, meaning a goalkeeper will have 0% chance of stopping it. So for example, if SGGK increases the saving chance by 20%, 20% of 0 is still 0. So it won't help Wakabayashi to stop these shoots. These 10 cost exclusive skills can only cover a goalkeeper's weak spot by a little and protect the goal against the super powerful custom character sometimes. There are only 3 exceptions to this rule. Hernandez's 10 cost skill protects him from deflecting any shoots, Morizaki's 10 cost skill lets him stop any shoot by a certain lock chance when his spirit is low enough and Oswan's 10 cost skill weakens anyone inside the penalty area. So out of all the goalkeepers, Oswan is the only goalkeeper whose 10 cost skill actually helps him protect the goal better. As for the weak spots a goalkeeper has, first I have to say that hitting the weak spot doesn't increase spirit damage. It increases the chance to score. Here's an example. In the Germany scrum, if you have a custom character with 84 offense power taking against speed and use unyielding power and emotional support and use tiger shoot, if you aim at the side, you will deal 30% damage. If you aim at the weak spot, you still deal 30% damage. The shoot just isn't strong enough to one shot even when you aim at the weak spot. But if you add power shooter to this build, if you aim the side, you will deal 35% damage, but if you aim at the weak spot, it scores. As to where this magical weakness lies, for most of the goalkeepers, it's at their side at a very specific angle. I can't give any tips about this because even now I can only do it once out of two attempts. I used to have 80% success chance on this, but that was when I was constantly playing the online mode. Mueller is the only one with a different weak spot. His weak spots are his middle defenses, both ground and air. Here's an overview for all the goalkeepers.
And that's it for the goalkeepers. What do you guys think about them now? Who will you use from now on? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you all next time.